What's up guys, welcome back to another video and this time we're going to cover WWDC, Apple's recent event from yesterday, September 15th. And they have a lot of new releases here like Apple Watch Series 6, the blood oxygen level, iPad version 8, iPad Air and a few more things so stay tuned. I'm going to try and cover all of this in less than 5 minutes guys so strap yourself in and let's go. So first up, we have Apple Watch Series 6 in a new color that's navy blue along with the gold, a black stainless steel. For the first time, you have product red. And as mentioned, guys, there is the blood oxygen sensor. It does have the S6 chip. It can also show you the altitude in real time. And there's a lot of new watch faces like the ones you can see right here. A bunch load of watch faces, guys, like the chronograph, the Roman numericals, this weird one, which is artsy, I suppose. Now we also have the animojis. You can totally have fun with that. And you got watch faces for everything if you're a diver, a photographer, or even a doctor to see all your appointments. A new watch band called the Solar Loop, and it comes in different sizes for different hand sizes. Also have a braided version. So Apple has this new thing called a family setup where you can have Apple watches without a phone. So, oh, hats off to Apple for this amazing special effects they use throughout the entire video. You guys should check it out. But now you can have kids, everyone using an Apple watch without a phone. You can have them all in the family setup. They can be alerted about the locations and what is happening. Also, there's an online school mode for kids to focus on their education. So this is Apple Watch SE. It's a budget Apple Watch with a few features like swim proof, fall detection, larger display, sleep tracking, new watch faces, family setup, and does have the compass and altimeter, but not the features of a Series 6. Priced at $279. And the Apple Watch Series 6 goes for $399. And they have a quick ad, and I like to call it, it already does that ad. Imagine. Excuse me, ma'am. This already does that. It already does. It already does that. It already does that. Does that. Does that. Yeah. Does that. Already does that. <laughs> well, you can actually check out the full ad in the link in the description. Now, this is something exciting. It's called Apple Fitness Plus, and it's fitness for all. Everyone, yeah, like these people. So it uses your Apple Watch with all the different workouts you can actually do. There's plenty of workouts you can actually choose and it works across all the different devices like your iPhone, your iPad, and your Apple TV. This part is actually pretty cool because your Apple Watch syncs it with your device and like you can actually see things real time like your heartbeat. If you have an interval coming up, there's your 30 seconds countdown and you also have your achievements on screen. Workouts like yoga, cycling, dance fitness, treadmill, body workout, core, HIIT. And you can do your workouts anywhere, outdoors, indoors, when you're traveling. And this is the Apple stream that's going to be training you finally you have the workouts tailored with different kind of music you can choose your own music if you have apple music included and the fitness does have all these different things integrated and it comes at 9.99 per month or 7.99 per year available at these countries just at launch and guess what if you buy an apple watch you get three months free of fitness plus now this is pretty cool talking about apple one which is basically integration of icloud apple music apple tv plus arcade news plus fitness plus a combination of these services all together for these particular prizes Coming to the iPad 8 generation, which has the A12 Bionic chip, 40 times more faster, 2 times more the better graphics, 2 times more faster than the best Windows selling laptop, 3 times more faster than the best selling Android tablet, and 6 times more faster than a Chrome tablet. That's some serious, serious competition. Has support for Apple Pencil and even if you scribble stuff up, it can still recognize it. It can recognize objects you can tap on it and you can copy your own handwriting and then paste it wherever you like which is pretty cool and you can actually write with your apple pencil anywhere you like and you can also add in the last minute headlines ipad os has added a lot more new features for apple pencil comes at a price of 329 and now let's go check out apple air check this out hey baby you got me feeling punched on crazy Apple can really nail their ads. It has a new redesign like the iPad Pro, new colors, liquid retina, 3.8 million pixels, it has touch ID and included right on the top button. It has the A14 Bionic chip, which is 40 times more faster than a CPU, 30% faster graphics, 11 trillion operations per second, which is what? Here's some things that this process is capable of, like this particular app where you can actually use some air DJing and this dude looks really funny trying to air DJ his console. And you have better graphics now comparatively to the previous game. Here's a game example, the before and after. Looks like a really big and significant improvement from the before and after. And if you look into this particular one where you edit some pictures where you zoom all the way in and you see it's all pixelated, but now this processor can work along with the neural engine and do much better. And here's more air DJing. Now comes with the USB C, which is 10 times more faster, a 7 megapixel front camera, and a 12 megapixel back camera, also stereo sound. Attachments with the Apple Pencil and the Magic Keyboard. And that's iPad Air, guys. Here's a little ad. Check it out.
Apple ads are just amazing. So the iPad Air is for $599 is available next month. Guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and drop it a like, drop it a subscribe, and do share the video with your friends and family who are interested in Apple products. But next, I'm going to cover iOS 14, which is going to be out tomorrow, and that is exciting news, guys. I will be looking forward to seeing that and see you guys in the next video. Have fun.